Hello everyone, hello grade 9 students. It's me again, Ma'am Terebuena, your guidance counselor. So today we are going to discuss your homeroom guidance module 6. So I hope handa na tayo para sa ating discussion. Pero kung wala pa tayong copy ng ating module 6, ilalagay ko po ang uh, PDF file sa ating description box at i-download po muna ninyo ito bago tayo magsimula. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please click first the subscribe button and hit the notification bell para updated tayo sa lahat ng i-upload kong video patungkol sa inyong homeroom guidance. So I hope you are now ready, so let's begin. Okay, for homeroom guidance quarter 1, module 6, the title is We Are Different But One. Okay, so ang ganda ng title natin for our module 6. Again, the title is We Are Different But One. Okay, ano kayang ibig sabihin ng title na ito? So we are going to find out later, my dear grade 9 students. So please... Ano, seryosohin muna natin ang ating module for today. Okay, so again, in this module, you can see there the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines and of course, the writers, the coordinator, editor, illustra illustrator, and all the person behind this module. And of course, on page 3, makikita nyo dyan ang... Uh, Gabay sa magulang or tagapag-alaga, katulad din sa ating mga nakaraang module, kailangan muna natin itong basahin. Okay, isinulat ang module na ito upang gabayan ang mag-aaral na linangin ng kanilang aspektong personal at sosyal, akademiko at karera. Dinisay nyo ito para sa distance learning o alternatibong pamamaraan ng pagkatuto na hindi nangangailangan ng physical na presensya, sa paaralan bilang tugon sa direktiba ng pagkansela ng face-to-face -face class dulot ng pandemyang COVID-19. Malaki ang gampanin ng mga magulang upang mapagtagumpayan ang mga gawain nakalatag dito. Kakailanganin na mag-aaral ang inyong patnubay at gabay sa module na ito kung kaya hinihingi ng DepEd ang inyong suporta na makatutulong upang mapagtagumpayan na mag-aaral ang mga hamon sa buhay, may sakatuparan ang mga inaasahang gawain at higit sa lahat, matutunan ang mga kasanayan sa buhay na kailangan nilang taglayin sa yugtong ito. Makatutulong ang module na ito upang hubugin ang kanyang kabutihan na tanggapin ang pagkakaiba-iba ng bawat tao sa katangian, kakayahan, damdamin at pananaw at maging sa pagpapahalaga sa kanyang pamilya. Tiyakin na sasagutin niya ang bawat bahagi ng module ng tapat at siguraduhing maipapasa niya ang kanyang sagutang papel sa petsa at oras na itinakda ng kanyang burong tagapayo. Okay, again, please let your parents read this part, my dear grade 9 students, okay? So, let's proceed. Of course, on page 4, you can see there the introductory message for the learner. As part of examining your life as you go along this pandemic, it is important to acknowledge your, your being unique and at the same time, similarities with others. Ayan. So, uh, such will lead you to a more harmonious way of living with others. So, um, napaka-interesting na naman ng ating uh, module because we are going to talk about the uniqueness and uh what made, makes you similar with other persons, okay? So this module is composed of different tasks as a reflection on how you handle the demands of your life. So this will help you understand the things that are happening around you and for you to be able to stay effective in dealing with different challenges. Work on the task seriously and seek help if you believe you need to remember in life there are things that you cannot control. You just need to live with it, make the most out of your similarities and differences you coexist with other people ayan so same thing with your module uh, 5 uh, okay meron meron tayo ditong anim na indicative task uh, which are as follows we have the let's try this which will help you to get ready to learn let's explore this which will guide you towards what you need to learn keep in mind which will give you the lessons that you need to learn and understand you can do it which will help you apply the lessons learned in daily activities what i have learned which will test and e evaluate your learning and uh, share your thoughts and feelings which will help you express your thoughts opinions and feelings make sure to read think follow and enjoy every task that you are asked to do have fun stay safe and healthy okay so again the title of our module 6 is we are different 
bot one so let's have first the different learning objectives at the end of this module you are expected to number one identify actions or behaviors that promote respect for individual differences in the family number two analyze situations involving family duties that promote good relationship and number three appreciate the importance of responsibility in establishing good relationship despite individual differences okay it is good for week six of first quarter suggested total time allotment is 60 minutes and you will be needing the following materials you will need clean sheets of paper paper um, bond papers or pen and of course coloring materials if available okay so let's begin for the introduction it is written there that we are all unique okay tayo daw ay unique but we also have similarities Okay, even though we are unique, we are uh, different from one another, meron pa rin daw tayong pagkakapare-pareho. It is important that we are aware of our personal characteristics, most especially those that can help us establish good relationships. Ayan. So, individual differences are already a given fact. And the best, the best way to deal with it is acceptance and respect. Again, we have here two important words. We have number one, acceptance, and number two, respect. So those are the words that we have to remember in order for us to, diba, um, to deal with individual differences. So as we live in this new normal, it is necessary to gain insights about our behaviors that promote respect for individual differences, especially within our family. Ayan, napaka-importante daw, lalong-lalo na ngayong panahon ng uh, new normal or ngayong, pan ngayong tayo ay may pandemic na maintindihan natin ang behavior ng bawat isa, lalong-lalo na sa loob ng ating pamilya. So, such insight will promote healthy relationships and responsible family members. Okay. So, uh, now we are going to have this uh, let's try this suggested time allotment is 10 minutes and the title is worked as one so what you're going to do is you're just going to think of a situation about your family where you needed to work together or at least help one another to accomplish something okay iisip daw po tayo ng isang sitwasyon tungkol sa ating pamilya na kung saan kinakailangan nating magtrabaho ng magkakasama okay work together or magtulungan para ma-accomplish or uh, ma ma magawa nating uh, ma-accomplish ang isang bagay so how did it affect your relationship as family members paano daw nito naapektuhan ang relasyon ninyo bilang uh, isang miyembro ng pamilya and try to come up with uh, a, a representation or a symbol of that experience. So, ang gagawin lang natin ay guguhit lamang tayo ng isang representation nitong experience na to sa isang short bond paper and feel free to color it if you want and answer the following question afterwards. So, maaaring gumuhit ka ng isang bagay na kung saan or isang simbolo na kung saan ito ay uh, nagre-represent uh, ng uh, paraan ng pakikitungo ninyo sa inyong pamilya paraan ng pagtutulugan, pagtutulungan ninyo bilang isang miyembro ng pamilya any symbol like for example it can be a chain it can be anything that symbolizes unity or harmony okay maari yung i-drawing dyan as long as you can uh, explain Kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng drawing na to, ano ang ibig sabihin ng simbolo or ibig sabihin ng bagay na iginuhit mo, maari mo pong ilagay dyan. Okay po? And of course, sabi nga dito, kailangan natin sagutin ang mga processing questions na ito. Number one, how did you feel upon, upon uh, seeing the symbol? Ano ba ang naramdaman mo nung makita mo ang simbolo na ginuhit mo? Okay. Number two, can you really set aside your individual differences for a greater purpose? How? Maari ba talaga natin isantabi muna ang pagkakaiba-iba natin sa sa pagkakaiba-iba natin? Okay? Para sa isang uh, adhikain, para sa isang malaking adhikain.
Under let's explore this suggested time allotment is 15 minutes What you're going to do is you're just going to copy the table on a clean sheet of paper and you're going to answer Questions in each column. So you can see there several situations. We have here three situations and uh, You are going to answer the questions in the next column. Okay, so for situation number one we have here your sibling is answering uh, the school modules when you realize that it was already time to wash the dishes last time when it was your turn you stopped doing your schoolwork and did household chores so uh, you are going to answer the following question for this situation how will you respond to show respect for individual differences in your family paano mo mapapakita ang uh, pagrespeto pa rin sa ganitong klaseng sitwasyon sa iyong inyong pamilya okay and another question is what could be the result of your action ano ka sa tingin mo yung magiging resulta ng action na inilagay mo dito sa pangalawang column okay and situation number two your parents promised that they will uh, buy a new mobile phone for you however because of the pandemic they decided to buy a personal computer that you can share with your with your other siblings instead so ano kaya ang gagawin mo dito na kung saan yung magulang mo ay uh, nangako sa iyo na ibibili ka ng bagong cellphone ngunit nagkaroon na ng uh, pandemya kaya they just decided or nagdesisyon sila na bumili na lamang ng uh, computer para ma makapag-share ka sa iyong mga kapatid. Okay. Ano ang uh, magiging uh, response mo sa situation na ito? Paano mo pa rin maipapakita ang pagrespeto sa mga kapamilya mo? At ano kaya sa tingin mo ang magiging resulta ng action na ginawa mo? Okay. And number three, your siblings like to watch their favorite TV show while you are studying. You try to explain to them that you cannot concentrate if they would turn on the television but they insist on watching. Ano kaya sa tingin mo ang gagawin mo dito kung saan ang mga kapatid mo ay mahilig? Okay? Or gustong gusto nilang nanonood sila ng TV habang ikaw ay nag-aaral. Ngayon ipinaliwanag mo na rin naman na hindi ka makapag-concentrate sa yung pag-aaral. Okay? But still hindi sila nakinig and they continue watching TV instead. So, what are you going to do? Paano mo pa rin may papakita ang pagrespeto mo sa iyong mga kapamilya at ano ba ang magiging epekto ng ginawang? Or ano kaya sa tingin mo ang magiging epekto kung ito ang gagawin mo? Okay? And of course, after that, you are going to answer the processing questions. Number one, what individual differences can you see in the given situation? Ano kaya sa tingin mo yung mga differences or individual differences ang uh, makikita natin sa mga nasambit na sitwasyon? Okay? And number two, based on your answers, were you able to manage your individual differences well? Why do you say so? Sa tingin mo ba na manage mo or nagawa mo pa rin uh, irespeto ang uh, pagkakaiba-iba ninyo sa mga na ibigay na sitwasyon sa mga naging sagot mo paano mo nasabi okay and of course we have here keep in mind that just a time allotment is 10 minutes now we are going to discuss this part so in the, every individual differs based on temperament personality abilities interests and even views perceptions and beliefs about themselves. Ayan. So, siguro naman naniniwala tayo dito na tayo ay magkakaiba-iba. Okay? Tayo ay uh, tayo ay may mga pagkakaiba-iba base na rin sa ating mga temperament, sa ating personalidad, sa ating kakayahan, sa ating interes at kahit na sa ating mga pananaw or pagtingin or paniniwala sa mga bagay-bagay. Di po ba? However, no matter how different we are from one another, it is still important that we must acknowledge their differences so we can be better relate with others. Ayan, so napaka-importante pa rin na sa kabila ng pagkakaiba-ibang ito ay nagagawa pa rin, na, pa rin nating intindihin ang mga pagkakaiba-ibang to at magawa pa rin nating irespeto ang iba nang sa gayon ay mas maging mabuti ang relasyon natin sa kanila. 
Respecting individual differences is an important aspect in strengthening family relationship. Ayan, so tatandaan po natin na ang pagrespeto daw po sa pagkakaiba-iba natin ay isang mahalagang aspeto para mas mapatatag natin ang relasyon natin sa ating kapamilya. Members of the family possesses or members of the family possess differences which need to be known to each members and be accepted by one another in order to have a more harmonious and healthy family relationship. Ayan. So we have here some ways on how you can show respect for individual differences within the family. Paano nga ba natin maipapakita pa rin ang pagrespeto ng mga pagkakaiba-iba natin within our family? So we have here an acronym for the word family. F for frequent communication. Ayan. Kailangan lang natin ng uh, madalas na makipag-communicate sa bawat miyembro ng pamilya nang sa gayon ay mas maintindihan natin sila at mas makilala natin sila ng mabuti. Okay? Again, F for frequent communication. And also, we have here A stands for ask. Okay? Ask for what? We have to ask questions if there are clarifications and avoid making assumptions. Ayan. So, napakahalaga daw po na magtanong tayo, magtanong. Okay? Nang sa gayon ay mag mas maintindihan natin at magkaroon, magkaroon tayo ng linaw kung ano ba ang ibig ipahiwatig ng ating mga kapamilya. Ayan. So, iwasan daw po ang gumawa ng mga assumption. And of course, we have here M stands for make or M, make for adjustments if necessary. Ayan. Kailangan daw po natin mag-adjust din. Okay? So, hindi lamang po ang ibang kapamilya natin ang mag adjust pero tayo din daw po ay kailangan din mag-adjust ng uh, mas maintindihan tayo nila at mag maiwasan ang mga conflicts okay within our family and of course we have here i i stands for involve involve yourself by doing your responsibilities ayan magkakaroon tayo ng involvement kung gagawin natin ang ating mga responsibilidad sa ating pamilya ano ba ang respon responsibilidad mo bilang anak bilang kapatid okay so you have to know your roles and responsibilities and of course we have here L stands for learn we have to learn to understand and accept others differences ay napaka importante na intindihin natin at at the same time, tanggapin ang pagkakaiba-iba natin. Malamang alam din natin dapat kung ano ang uh, mga kakayahan mo at ang, ang mga weaknesses mo. And at the same time, dapat alaman mo din kung ano din ang mga strengths and weaknesses ng mga kapamilya mo. Okay. And of course, we have here the last letter Y that stands for yearn. Yearn for what is good for all members of the family. Okay, syempre ang gusto natin ay yung ikabubuti pa rin ng ating kapamilya. Kaya we always have to yearn for what is good. Now again, we have here the word family which stands for frequent communication a ask questions if there are clarifications and avoid making assumptions and make some adjustments if necessary i involve yourself by doing your responsibilities l learn to understand and accept others differences or strengths and weaknesses and y yearn for what is good for all members of the family ayan so napakaganda ng uh, topic na ito dahil uh, mas naintindihan natin kung paano nga ba talaga natin tatanggapin ang pagkakaiba-iba natin sa loob ng ating uh, tahanan at sa ating mga kapamilya na rin. Okay? And of course, under You Can Do It, suggested time allotment is 10 minutes. The title is I Am Me and They Are Them But We Are Together. Ayan. So, ang ganda ng title, I Am Me and They Are Them But We Are Still Together. Okay? What you're going to do is you're just going to copy the table on a clean sheet of paper and you're going to read and answer the questions under each column. Okay. So, ano ba ang mga tanong na nandito sa column na to. So, meron tayo dito yung example na pinrovide para maging guide po ninyo. Okay. So, the questions are we have here, what are your responsibilities at home? 
Ayan. So, sasagutin lang po natin ito. Ano ba ang mga responsibilidad mo sa bahay? So, meron tayo ditong example. Sweep the floor. Okay. Isa ito sa mga responsibility niya. So, ang sunod na tanong naman sa susunod na column, what are the responsibilities of the other members of your family at home? Ayan. So, ano naman kaya sa tingin mo ang responsibilidad ng uh, ibang miyembro ng, kapam ng pamilya ninyo sa bahay? Okay. So, uh, may nakalagay tayo dito. Example, wash the dishes. So, another question is, how do you support each other in performing different chores? Okay. We give appreciation to each other as they perform their chores. Okay. Paano mo ba maipapakita ang suporta o pagsuporta mo sa isa't isa? Okay. Sa paggawa ng iba't ibang mga gawaing bahay. Okay. So, sabi dito, by appreciating each other okay another question is what is the outcome of the support in the family relationship ano kaya sa tingin mo ang magiging outcome or epekto nito or resulta nito sa resulta ng pagsuporta ninyo sa sa uh, family relationship ninyo okay ano kaya sa tingin mo ang uh, um, epekto or outcome pag uh, kayo ay nagsusuportahan sa isang pamilya. Okay, so ang sagot dito is cooperation and harmony in the family. Now, you also have to think of your own answer. Okay? So, you can do the, uh, you can write there as many as you can. So, for example, marami kang responsibilities. Write all your responsibilities at home. Maaring hindi lamang ito isa, marami. So, ilagay po lahat dyan. At ano ba sa tingin mo yung mga sagot sa susunod? Maaari nyo din pong ilagay po yan lahat sa loob ng column. Okay? So, and next, on page 8, we can see there what I have learned. Suggested so time allotment is 5 minutes. Now, what you're going to do is you're just going to complete the following sentences on a clean sheet of paper. Kukumplituhin lang po natin. Ang mga pangungusap sa isang malinis na papel po, ilalagay ang ating mga sagot. We have here number one. We may have individual differences but, okay, ano kaya ang maaaring ilugtong mo sa sentence na yan? Okay, we may have individual differences but, ano kaya sa tingin mo ang but na yun? And of course, number two, what I appreciate most with our differences in the family is... Ano kaya yung mga na-appreciate mo sa pagkakaiba-imba ninyo sa inyong pamilya? Ano, ka, ano ba ang kahalagahan ng pagkakaroon din ng uh, differences sa iyong uh, pamilya? Okay? And number three, we, we celebrate our similarities by... Okay? Paano nyo ba sinis-celebrate ang uh, pagkakapare-pareho ninyo sa inyong pamilya? Okay? So, ilalagay mo po ang inyong sagot sa underline okay sa linya na na provide po siya okay and the, of course the last part is uh, share your thoughts and feelings suggested time allotment is 10 minutes and uh, ang gagawin lamang po natin dito ay uh, magsasuggest lang po tayo ng tatlo hanggang limang paraan para po mas strengthen ang relationship mo sa yung pamilya ano ba ang mga pamamaraan para mas tumataga ang samahan ninyo sa inyong pamilya at mas mapatatag ang relasyon ng bawat isa. So, isusulat lamang po natin ang ating mga sagot sa isang malinis na papel. Okay. Okay, so we are done with our module 6. Congratulations, my dear grade 9 students, for finishing this module. Ayan, so napakaganda ng naging discussion na naman natin para sa module na ito dahil natutunan natin dito kung paano nga ba natin tatanggapin at irerespeto ang pagkakaiba-iba natin sa loob ng ating tahanan. Paano ba natin mas maiintindihan ang ating mga family members. Ayan, so we uh, pointed out several ways and uh, we even uh, emphasized the different uh, ways on how we can accept and respect each other. Ayan, so napakahalaga na irespeto pa rin natin ang uh, ating kapamilya kahit na ibang-iba sila sa atin. And of course, celebrate 
um, our similarities kung meron man. Okay, so tandaan natin na hindi lamang po pagkakapare-pareho ang nagbubuklod sa isang pamilya, kundi maging ang ating pagkakaiba-iba. This makes our family more intact. Ayan, so mas nagkakaroon ng... Uh, mas nagiging matatag ang samahan sa isang pamilya pag uh, naiintindihan natin ang bawat isa sa kabila ng pagkakaiba-iba na. So, again, so I would like to thank you all for watching this video. So, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, you may click first the subscribe button and of course, hit the notification bell para updated tayo sa lahat ng modules Homeroom Guidance Modules for Grade 9 na i-upload ko. So again, this is Mang Terebena, your guidance counselor, saying bye for now and see you on our next module.